pretty quiet week uh, or day, uh, first couple of days this week. Um, your time shift means there's another hour left uh, of um, currency markets and then stock markets just closed. Uh, but very quiet as we uh, come into the inflation numbers a, couple, uh, um, a day and a half away. Um, Tonight and tomorrow is the, the midterm election results, which also could provide some volatility, but it seems like the market's just sitting and waiting for this number here, um, which could uh, make things interesting again. Um, news out of China is uh, that there's all uh, rumour at this stage, whilst there's a number of uh, talking points about it um, being, uh, you know, China coming out of uh, COVID restrictions um, in a staged process. In the first half of next year, but um, you know, President Z has uh, said that he's got a zero COVID pol um, policy, so even one case in a city can uh, lock the whole city down, and that's kind of crazy. Um, so, wouldn't put a lot of, um, uh, I guess, um, trust in the, that uh, China's going to come out of um, COVID restrictions anytime soon, but the market certainly. Uh, took it to heart on Friday um, and um, as we can see the, uh, you know, the commodity markets all bolted on the on the news on Friday uh, not so much in coke and coal but certainly in uh, energy and um, I guess industrial production iron ore natural gas also on cold weather in the northern hemisphere um, but copper was the, the big one um, <coughs> bonds uh, as shown here just inching higher um, tracking that FOMC uh, and the US Fed that they're going to be higher for longer but over in um, let's go and have a look at stocks we see the VIX index um, showing no fear uh, and stocks had a pretty quiet session but finished in the green in the US uh, which should sort of kind of support the Christmas rally uh, and certainly things have turned around um, in China thanks to that news um, is that sustainable? I don't know. Um, DAX and FTSE also doing pretty well, um, and <clears throat> I think we'll get, we'll continue to see you know a, sh a stronger stock market uh, through to Christmas, and um, therefore a weaker U.S. dollar as the, has been the safe haven asset um, go to, and the weaker dollar will be um, tracking that way. Therefore, you'll have euro tracking this way. Um, <coughs> Aussie dollar be interesting to see what it can do here um, yeah, it's got this inverse head and shoulder pattern sort of uh, formed up um, bit of a key resistance and the only reason it's back up here is on the back of the commodity markets and China news but I don't think China news is um, valid news right? I think it's just uh, speculation by media so um, It'll be interesting to see if we can break through that and look for a retest of it and uh, then go with it but otherwise yeah. it might might get through it um, based on US dollar weakness but I've got no reason to buy Aussie dollars at the moment so that's about it pretty quiet as we um, get closer to inflation numbers on Thursday and have a clearer picture um, for the US economy um, thanks guys see you next time